Welcome to Table Talk Tuesday, where we talk about the session that we just played. Oh, first of all, what I'd like to hear is what are some player theories on the mage that you just brutally killed? <laughs> well, he was a reoccurring villain, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, that's a tough one. You know, I wanted to interrogate him. He didn't have to leave the table. I said let's interrogate the guy, but I couldn't think of how to tie him up, man. He's a mage. I'm just got thinking bolts. that there's a possibility my elf could have been this. Mm-hmm. We're not, we're not. Elf. <laughs> Yeah, we're not yeah, getting yeah, it. No, I'm seriously. So oh, that, that you? Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, is that just your voice? Yeah. Now do you talk all the time? What just happened? I don't know. What's this my character bachelor's degree voice. and swallowed a thesaurus when I was five. What do you expect? All right. So swallowed a thesaurus? Yes. I don't think you that swallowed makes one? <laughs> if anything, it's just the opposite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you perhaps related to the old lady who swallowed the fly? <laughs> it's possible. I have to ask my mother. When you updated our sheets, did you update our money too or not? Yes. Okay. So that's the top one. I don't know where this guy is. I have not gained any. But apparently, I don't know. Like, everyone's freaked out. I don't know if maybe they know who he was. He's an issue to them that they know about. And we just murked him. Um, I will definitely say, uh, in your night of carousing after the battle, just in general conversation, you guys did establish that nobody recognized him whatsoever. <laughs> Don't worry, the hobo murder is on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, okay, so let's recap, right? We killed some guys in the woods. We came here, they popped up. We killed that. Maybe they're connected? Slavers? Maybe? You know, we should. I was thinking, thinking the mage is connected with the leader of the goblin. I'm thinking the mage has more to do with the guys who grabbed. Yeah. Yeah. Brands? The yeah. Brands. I mean, oh, we have we we haven't figured we, out if we're the if we're the only party that came back from from raiding the goblins. Yeah, you know, we might be the only ones that came back. So, but I mean, like, is there anybody else drunk in the tavern? We have to like go talk to the red brand, pretty much head guy. Who then he and state him? Then the governor one. Oh, the, 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 the town master showed up. The town master. So Gundren and Sildar, the dwarf and the human, are business partners. Uh, Gundra is the one who is basically spearheading this whole gold mine project. Uh, Sildar works with the Lord's Alliance, and basically, the Lord's Alliance hired the Red Brands to guard this town while the construction is underway. Okay, Sorry. so nothing to do with the town. Yeah. No. Wait, what was the town? What was the, that's the town? Uh, Master's name? Uh, it's Harbin Wester. Harbin Wester, so completely opposite. So, and, and not just that, but I mean, they hired the Red Brands, so to me, the Red Brands are mercenaries. Yeah. And mercenaries can be bought with the right amount of gold. But didn't he say he's the one who set the whole group out, though, wasn't he? Yeah, but he got us out of town. Very true. He, he, he ran every adventurer out of town without running them out of town. And then set up tariffs. Except for the mines. I mean, remember the elf was attacked and, the and captured by slavers. It's possible that other groups of adventurers met a similar fate. We well, may have gotten lucky. I wouldn't really call her an adventurer, though. She was investigating the goblins, though, just like yeah. everyone else. It may be that. On the adventure. It may be that in our escapade in the wrong direction at first, we missed the roving bands of everyone who was going to try to capture. Goblin slayers and the true murder and just so happened to miss them. So see, going to the mountains, good idea. That's very, <laughs> very interesting. Well, it's a good idea to go to the mountains. It's my idea. Let's it's find not me. a good idea. That's <laughs> fair. Not really, <laughs> but what would you guys say? Or uh, we're not, we're not going to get into this right now, but just uh, for future reference, what are your plans after carousing or after or after uh, you wake up and all these? Various strange places. I was just kind of confusing. Did you say we're not getting into it? Though? Investigation time. How are we talking about? No, I'm, I'm just. Oh. Well, like my, my, my I'm like yeah. somewhere to leave off, basically. Like, yeah. I was gonna head back to the to the end. Yeah, I'd probably head back to the end. Okay. See where well, everybody else. I, I gotta go find. I probably yeah, missed first breakfast. I need to have some more coffee. Second yeah. breakfast. So this guy's drinking tea. Yeah, so you baby, better everybody up. Go, go get our bounty for the goblin head. Smith. Talk to the talk to the people. Yeah. Then start. Uh, uh, Buy an alchemy money. 
so that's where we're, we'll start off the next session as you guys are approaching the town master hall um what about your group what are you guys are y'all friends are you a crew are you allies do you kind of not like each other that much like, i like this motley crew yeah no, i mean definitely it, allies what's your, best, definitely yeah, yeah. what's your best group what i'm asking what's your disposition as a group right now so far the as far as auric goes and i mean they haven't given me a reason to not trust them mm -hmm. um <clears throat> so okay i'm okay with them right now they could have taken well, thankfully he's carrying them, but they could have taken the goblin heads and just ran off with all our hard work. But they seem to be sticking around. Um, true, we got a little bit of greedy while they're fighting over this huge staff. But you know what? It's that's neither here nor there. My character now, for my character, first off, the drow from hearing stories. Um, you know, like you know, he's not acting like a normal drow. But I'm still a little wary about him. Right. This guy's drow system. Um, yeah, let's talk about that. How do you feel about the drow? Drowsism. No, <laughs> no. You just still don't trust him? I don't like drow. Well, Mark on doesn't like drow. Fair enough. I think my opinion of the drow is raised at least a little bit by this point. Yeah, and actually, my character's opinion. You, uh, Areva and Ball are the two full elves in the parties. Elves are the ones who traditionally have the most mistrust for drow. Well, how do you guys feel? Well, I'm a runaway princess from the. the well, we don't know that. Yeah, well, this, this is all out of character. character. I mean, y'all don't know that, but yeah. I, yeah. so to me, I am just I'm kind of like rebelling from. You kind of feel like you understand the viewpoint of an outsider. Yeah, and I feel like I'm. I'm just excited to be with a group of people that don't know who I am and don't like. I think that I think you don't know who I am, and. Um, like have somewhere to stay and be and do. So. Right. But I feel like we've we've already as a group we've been through combat and we've like kind of proven ourselves. So yeah. my character kinda has mm -hmm. a level of respect for everybody for going through the combat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I did I did cure wins the album check. So yeah. I mean give me something. So I think our disposition is <laughs> doing like a pretty uh agreeable. It all seems to be for the greater with the good good exception of Markon yeah. not trusting the drought. Yeah. I mean for Markon it's just well, yeah, oh, but, I'm, I'm out of I'm out of the university you, since the first time. I said your six. car time feels mildly I sadistic. Well, I didn't like, intend him to be. You, I was going to say I, I was leveling yeah. your character up. I seriously yeah. considered changing your alignment. I really <laughs> did not <laughs> intend him to be. What's his alignment? Chaotic good. He definitely not playing chaotic good. I would at least chaotic. I mean, yeah. But I mean, most of you guys, this is like your your beginning. Like, right. I know a couple of y'all play a couple games, but so it's a learning experience. So you learn. Right. Then you'll also see that the character itself will evolve right. right yeah. Now. And the last question: Um, what is anything at all that you guys, any preconceptions you may have had about D and D that maybe haven't been met that maybe i would like to see more of this or i thought we would be doing something like this or i, I got i got one um suggestion comment go ahead since we're dealing with new players it doesn't bother me as much because i know about it but you want the new players to kind of learn the rules and learn what their characters do mm -hmm. and letting them fill out their own character sheet in my eyes kind of i think that helps them understand the character understand what they can do more Okay. Instead of doing yeah. a pre-made, no, no, I, I understand, sure. I understand no, no, what you're trying good. to do with that. That's yeah. a good thing, but I think letting the guys, you know, do one session and, and have everybody look at the book and fill out their own character sheets mm -hmm. will help them figure out their character a lot more and okay. understand the con, the the the, um, the mechanics of the game a little bit better. Right. Without confused, when you have pre-made like pre-made character sheets. No, you print out character sheets and you fill all that in instead of having it all. Oh, oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, but. Like most of us, like I'm pretty sure everyone met one on one and picked every single thing. Yeah, I mean yeah. we were there yeah. for the character creation. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Just because we like, didn't it, type it out. It was pretty one on one. I mean that is fine. That's a good idea about it. About it. I, I, that, I might be a little biased because I like to write everything out myself. Oh, well, I'm the same way. But, but I feel like that will help everybody because you're actually looking through the book for the tables mm -hmm. and you kind of get to read the book a little bit and figure mm -hmm. out. Yeah, and as it was this session, I had to look at the bar table to be like, what spells do I have and what am I getting and what can I cast? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, I mean, filling it out you to do that anyways. Uh, no, I mean, when I I'm sure veteran players still look through the books. Oh, yeah. 
when I thought you meant pre-made, like I did the actual uh, lost mind with Ben Delver when it started. No, they just, no, no, they no. just hand you six pre-made yeah. sheets, and it takes so long to learn every single thing about every person yeah. that I kind of dug this way because, like I said, we did each individually pick every single thing. We actually, um, we did play the original one, or mm -hmm. play the original lost mind starter set, the completely by the book, the way it goes, and uh, we used the pre-mades and. Those characters are just so uninteresting. Yeah. Yeah. What I like, um, as far as how you're running it, um, it's a nice balance of RP and combat. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel yeah. doesn't crawl. Okay. Yeah, I definitely like to hear that. So it, it's it's very nice because I love the RP. I love the character interactions and the building of the characters. Can we do like player advice? Like what do y'all think that like would be good suggestions for people of how they do them? Like, would that be pushing too far, do you think? Because we have a lot of veterans who are watching a lot of noobs play, so I mean... I would be okay with it because I... Yeah, I mean, some of them are still learning. Yeah. And I mean, we're all, I mean, if people are kind of nervous, I mean, we're all sitting here playing Dungeons and Dragons, we're not going to be nervous about it. We're not going to... Yeah. We're not going to judge you, like we're all. No, it's just, you know. but suggestions. Uh, I I like that idea. Oh no no, I don't, no, I don't mean like I mean like right now. I don't mean like in game. Uh, no, I'm not watching. Like, yeah. yeah, I meant like literally yeah. Okay, yeah. right now. Like, is there are some of you veterans who are watching new people play? Like, what do y'all think about how people are playing things? I mean, well, you get it, it, it's good. I mean, it takes you a while to get into the, the swing of things. You know, like when we all when I first started playing. We were we were murder hobos. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, well, that's, that's all that we want to do. Like we run dungeons. We save two guys, and okay. we literally be like, okay, I go up to the guy and I roll diplomacy, and I use diplomacy on him. That's what it was. Like we didn't that role play anything. Role play. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you as you play more, you progress, and you see other people walking, and it makes you more comfortable, and then you can kind of get the concept of the game. Every game can be different. But I mean, I, I like that. I mean, for me, that's why I have five languages on the sheet. Yeah. Is because that's a, that's a major element and, of mine. And, so and that. When you come into a game, you got to try to put your mindset into, yeah. not your mindset, but of your character's mindset. Mm -hmm. Like, if it was me, I would have done killed everybody. But I'm playing, uh, you know, a, a lawful good. You or a kind of good character. I didn't want to kill him if we didn't have to kill him. You yeah. know what I mean? So you got to have to put your mindset into I, what you're playing. Yeah. And I have yeah. to. Uh, my justification for wanting to be dead is that I dislike slavery and chains of any kind. In enslaving somebody or even having someone enslaved for money. Yeah, my thoughts. Same. That's that's, that's why I think it's kind of cool. Is like you're you're pulling personal thoughts into the yeah. RPG. Yeah, as far as Felix so, is concerned, those aren't people; they're animals. It's all alive, right? So it makes it interesting to watch. Well, I think, like I mean, as somebody who's been playing since I was in middle school, mm -hmm. um, I think everybody's doing pretty good. So, you know, I think it'd be good if, if everybody, you know, outside of the game, outside of every Monday, kind of do a little bit of research in the player's handbook, kind of read different things, get some reference, and uh, watch, you know, a good podcast or YouTube is critical role. Mm -hmm. for real, that's really good for learning how to RP and kind of get tips on RP. Yeah. Critical role is really good for learning how to role play, not so good for learning the mechanics. They're kind of loosey goosey. That's Mercer, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah Matt Mercer. Yeah. Actually, there is a, um, they're pretty much 24 7 a live stream on Twitch, and they will show their past highlights or something. Um, I'll oh, recap I'll, the previous. Yeah, stuff. I'll, get, I'll, I'll get the address and put it on the, the Plant City Gamers Guild. Oh, um, if anything, just put it on our uh, lost my unders. Yeah, yeah, whichever. And watching them is really cool because they'll have Who's celebrities that don't know anything. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know how many you're West? About. No, no, no. no. It's, it's this creepy looking, looking dude. He's got like no, no, rings on. No, no, not even that. Oh, okay. it's, it's, it's an actual live channel. And they keep playing. But in between sessions, they'll morning. play back. Up yeah, I've seen. I've seen one guy who had like this dude Hal. I can't remember his last name. Was celebrity, but he had them all come in and like yeah. roll their characters. There's a there's a bunch of stuff on YouTube. There's a bunch of different podcasts. The one thing I'm going to have to stop. Start. I'm going to have to start stepping back because I've noticed I'm still taking the reins and still trying to push the party 
where I'm like, I'm going to approach this for, oh, uh, I don't know what else. But I mean, so it's kind of good to see someone do that because you have a lot of us who are unsure about like, all right, what exactly yeah. should I do? Yeah. Well, that's what should, the that's most the interesting problem. thing from just, just somebody who's been watching everybody play is the development of learning to cooperatively tell a story is a learned skill. It's mm -hmm. not something that you just do. And so newer people, you're kind of in comic book mode where you're looking at a frame at a time. And other people who have been playing for decades, we're, we're in John Wick mode where we can, we can describe at least briefly in our head what we see things going on. Um, I just looked at my phone and realized it was dead, then put it back in my pocket and got two notifications. <laughs> <laughs> From the grave. <laughs> Not being afraid to start using more adjectives, I, I think, is the first big step in role playing. So um, you can easily slide from Just I attack with shot. my bow to I narrow my eyes aiming for the center torso, and I let an arrow fly. It's almost like a deeper narration of what right. you're actually doing. Yeah. Right. That has no effect on the actual mechanics in the game. You're not implying that you succeed. But now your character has a little more depth because people can see what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. just, the, just those little bit of adjectives. And then you're hooked, and then you're taking three hours to describe cooking breakfast. <laughs> yeah. So I also would suggest to if you want to do something but you're afraid it's too goofy, do suggest it. it. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I have rode in between on the two different saddles of two different horses going past an orc camp. And they didn't see me because they just saw two horses running by. Mm -hmm. I'm crouched in between. Dean had no idea I was going to do that. I just thought it would be funny. And we're like, go with it. So if you think, oh, I'm going to go like you, if I'm going to pit pocket these two guys. Do it. You might not sure, succeed, yeah. but do well, it. That makes that makes a good game because if you don't succeed, then something we happens. We have, have to save you. Yeah, yeah, we have to do something. That's what kind of why I laugh yeah. so hard at that, that meme with Red Foreman. Dude. Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> I carterized ankle as I shoved my foot up a dragon's wall. <laughs> yeah. Because it was quite bad. Right? Yeah. Yeah. If you can fake so, it, you can roll it. What exactly. about? Um, no, 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 go ahead. So what? I'm just gonna share that my personal goal is to be like way better at role playing. I want to like get voices. I want to dress up. I want to be that nerdy about it. But um if you want to I don't think I can if you want to do voices if you want to do voices and you want to dress up you can we're not gonna judge you for that. You can do it. Because yeah. yeah. me I can't do I don't my voice uh, yeah voices. I don't feel like my voice like I feel like I could but I need more I don't know I need to work there's on, like, some my people who are totally it like I did one on roll 20 and we did um a different campaign and this one guy is he every time he talked it was his character yeah like and you you can't see each other like we can all do here it's just you can see the map that's it and then mm -hmm. character sheets mm -hmm. so it was kind of funny because it was just it was his character. That's yeah. all you knew. And he never talked outside of his character. And a lot oh, that was of it, cool. because I had the same issue. I, I do Oryx voice every now and then, but a lot of it that stops me is I don't want to feel goofy. Yeah. And I know around here I'm not going to, yeah. but still it's in my head. Mm -hmm. um, that's why when I stream and I'm playing role playing cool. characters, I try different voices. I try <laughs> pushing myself. Yeah, that's why I love the I'm making this. Goofy's awesome, man. So I just, just I can't do voice. I mean, to me, I, mean, I honestly just. I think into that. your character and your personality is pretty close to each other. Yeah. Not like, really. Yeah. Your wife says, "Yeah." <laughs> 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 I was say, he's, he's, he's probably like it's a bad thing. He's playing yeah, a pretty borderline evil character so, right now. I mean, like, not, I mean, not he bad wants to be so, but like the way he speaks and thinks and things like yeah. that, it's almost like well, being a higher up wizard person. Who's At least you're player. you're real eccentric and not fake eccentric. Exactly. He's very much in. I think I went off on a rabbit trail at one point about the history of eggplant. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what exactly eggplant is. Okay. And yeah, I mean that that's why I designed my character where I did, because he can be just totally academic with no concept of anything else. Like a Sheldon. So like that's good for your character. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. 
you. Thank you for playing a, a wizard, yeah, I, I right? Know. But I if, also... you wanna, if you want to be good at RP, you kind of have to, well, maybe if we run another campaign, mm -hmm. try, try to find oh, yeah. the box. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. I've been planning my next four bar. That's party. why it, um, every time I play a different campaign, I literally pick a different person. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. first time, I'm always rogue because it's the easiest. And then they have some awesome stuff. Yeah. Too. I'm just saying. Yeah. I got to level two with a rogue and I loved it. Yeah. But I'm pushing myself. And I think my next character is going to be a uh, ranger because then it starts to push into magic a little bit. See, that's that's my favorite class of ranger. I always used to play ranger. And say if you do the I'm trying, It kind of puts out. me in the same thing, but I'm still learning this character. So it's not like I'm just like I'm bringing paladin. something further. Well, paladin is interesting. Paladin is our I don't know about fifth edition paladins, but when we played third edition <coughs> paladins, it was hard because it's lawful good. Yeah. And you literally have to be Mr. Goody Two Shoes all the time. So like I got a question for you. And it doesn't really roll doesn't really play with a, a group of a party that's yeah. like got it good or neutral because you always There's fewer yeah. restrictions at the time. Yeah, so like I was thinking for you, Ben, is like how do you think it's going as a party? Because I mean even with the crack mock crack oh. right now. Like, you're like, you guys blew through that way faster than I thought y'all were even going to. One thing that you guys, I mean, I've played in a lot of groups, I've been in a lot of groups, and one thing that you guys, honestly, I would say picked up faster than any group I've played in or DM'd in is team synergy. You guys know how to work together as a team. There's so many people who the first time they sit down at a table, I swing my sword and try to hit them. You know what I mean? And you guys know how to kind of combine some of your efforts to First work. session, we all focused on the owner's knee. It just happened. <laughs> Dude, like, like, that was our fight, though. If, Dude, it, it's it's cost, yeah, with if, it happening, if we didn't hit the knee and make it go down, someone else tried to hit the knee to make it go down. I mean, right. teamwork's the it literal reason why I haven't even cool thunder wave yet. No, I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> example, we <laughs> had <laughs> half and toss yeah. with a ready thunder clap. That was an awesome idea. That yeah. worked out so perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, like, Illusion with knocking goblins right off a steep cliff without you like you scared the crap out of them. Yeah. Like no, run away. And it's just some some combos are pretty fun to watch, and it's cool being in it now. So I got to like observe a lot, like Chris has and she has. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like watching people work together is actually kind of fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's it's went quite well. I've seen some people do some really funny things. I've seen them do some silly things. I've seen them do things that I'm like, eh, why? But it's, it's it's cool to like watch people yeah. learn to play each other, you know, not just play their characters, but play each other as well. I was actually inter interested in the whole who's going to get the stuff. Yeah, that was that was cool. Yeah, top of the little yeah. tap 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 to the top. Dude. <laughs> that, was, that was cool. Like I, I could give shit if I had it or not. Yeah, like, like that I was like that was like a I want to see if I can get. It. Like, we didn't even know what it does yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it could just like, slide up. Super like I have to have this, but it was like I my character would want that. Uh -huh. Yeah, the like, she's a princess. Made she's it. a diva. In uh, in him, the I competition for it has some the game. fireball for it. Oh lord! <laughs> Mark off. The yeah, I mean, yeah. my impulse well, was to yeah. yeah, and you was me like, a like a to be like, hey, they're busy. Thirty three gold to you. Thirty three gold to you. Thirty three gold to me. That's it. Yeah. I feel yeah, like you guys would do you guys more practical, like your characters. Well, we're not a bunch of spellcasters fighting over. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all don't have a use for the stick other yeah. than sell it for you more. Guys don't <laughs> run oh, no, I would knock people out with it. <laughs> yeah. You guys I feel like that's a long If you guys know that I'm mad blind, that's probably broad, and you don't need to be spellcasters. Yeah, because there's a number of charges on it, and you just say the word, oh. gesture. And it does a spell. Let me ask you so you don't know. necessarily need to be a spell. It may well be a cast the shield. The highest number of players you're willing to DM for that. Because I, right now I have two other people who message me on the Facebook page asking to get into campaigns. And I have I, I, I have a buddy. Well, that, she's uh, sitting out. So yeah, I'm mad. Interested. Interested. I have a buddy that could play on Saturdays. I'll have to leave this campaign because I start school August 20th. And that's yeah, because yeah, that's when I'll. Yeah. So school I mean, you've got one, yeah, one, you're, one, 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 one
Monday's the only one. I have practice until 6.45 on Mondays. So when are you really good? It's an hour late every time, but I'd still be late every time. He would be the character that's going to stand on the mission. And that's the other thing I gave him to send it. He's just the author. Yeah. So I'll be down for Mondays. It is useful to be. I can do Mondays and Saturdays. But my days off are Wednesdays and Sundays. Those are my actual days. Oh, my day is off is totally not Tuesday. Oh, I'll I'll I can make Monday a thing. I normally always, I, they never yeah. let me off. So I like just take over her. Yeah, I'll just take over her character. I figure because now that she's somewhat of a new, uh, special character. And I feel like with his campaign as well, dude, we're going to get like really good at this really quick. And I'd like to see, like mm. we were talking about and you were talking about, other people move into DMing roles. Mm -hmm. So people who don't yeah, usually to get to play. Get to actually have fun with everyone else. Well, yeah. for me, this campaign's an opportunity to play a different character and flush out some different classes. Um, I could probably go eight or ten. That's a okay. good. It is a lot, but five E is is all right. We're going to start fairly low level. Um, the campaign I have, I uh, I as a rule won't do modules. Home group. group, awesome. Uh, I, I just, I just can't do it. I have a hard time playing any game world that has canon <laughs> because you feel like you might DM something that's stepping on the toes of canon. Yeah, and I don't, I don't want to get called out. Well, you know, Chris, that's not exactly what happened on the fifteenth book of the <laughs> saga of Like, I, I, I don't care. That's why I love this game. That's why I like running. I just bought a new game. Yeah, I like running models, but adding my own twist ones. Right. Yeah, like, so it's only a I don't have the time to mod in, create a whole talk British accent from scratch. Something. There's a mod for that. So, like the one that turns it into Thomas the Tank Engine? No, no, no. Exactly! I mean, it's that sort of thought. I mean, there's nothing you can't Although do. Although I feel like your own campaign writing wouldn't turn dragons into tank engines. Just that <laughs> No, no, I, uh, for, for, for d and I am I'm old school. I started with the basic set, the red books. Oh, wow. And then the blue books. Oh, the so like OD and D? Oh, so yes. OG D and D. Um, I played that. I played Advanced Dungeons and Dragons all the way up through 3.5, uh, and then yeah, I had like a stack of books for 3.5, and then I kind of fell out of it for a little while. I uh, played other games. I was running around blowing stuff up in real life, so I didn't. Yeah. Need to, I didn't need to role play. <laughs> and, uh, Just slide that yeah. one in there. Uh, but anyway, what I was thinking for an alternate game will take place on the Isle. Uh, Dragon's Gate, uh, which is a small island continent ruled by elves um, who are guided there like in an kill. ancient fashion from dragons to find this giant island. The idea of creating this particular game world was I wanted to build a uh, urban campaign. So the island is almost entirely populated. It has reserves to grow crops and reserves for orchards, orchards and parkland and things like that. Um, and the rest is all inhabited. It's mo pretty much all inhabited. Um, the elves are fairly xenophobic, as elves actually, you know, in this world would tend to be. And so, what I have devised for uh, character creation is you'll prioritize three choices, race, status, and goods. And everyone gets to pick what's most important, second important, and tertiary in importance. Stats will all be um, standard array. Everybody will have the exact same numbers for stats. You put them where they want. Okay. So if you happen to choose race is important to you, I have a table that we'll roll on uh, that will determine what race options you have. Um, if you choose status, that will determine what background options you can have. And if you choose worldly, then I get to have fun and either give you something, uh, depending on the role, anything from a feat to 
um, material goods, something that will affect in-game value. Mm -hmm. So the balance from the game comes from the fact, well, yeah, I can choose status, I could be some high-ranking elvish lord uh, from one of the many ruling houses, but someone may have much better stats than you with extra feats. You know what I mean? So they'll, they'll be balanced, and I'd like the standard array because it's a good starting point. It's a good starting point, and your numbers shouldn't matter at this point. If we're if we're going to focus on role play, then it's not about the numbers anymore. The standard array is like the 15, 13, 12, 12, or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah, it's okay. like 8. Or, uh, it's 8, like, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, something. I believe. Cool. We'll look forward to that. So we can start that. Uh, I'd like to build characters together. Mm -hmm. We can start that next week. Cool. And if you've got other people that want to come, they're more than welcome. Okay, cool. I'll definitely set it that way because I didn't want to turn anybody away from this campaign, but at the same time, we've it's only a lot got of seven players. Yeah. And it's easier having bigger groups when you have more veteran players. Yeah. Um, but when you have kind of a large group, it also lets you have little sub conversations. You can't be afraid to talk to your neighbor about what you think your character should be doing or what you think about this idea. Do a little sounding board so that you know mm -hmm. the whole the whole story just kind of unflows. You'll even see uh, packs form. I would say that's one thing that sometimes not really with this group so much, but in my experience is sometimes I don't like about bigger groups is you know, you'll get a lot of side conversations going on, it's and difficult. the DM it's very distracting. the DM announces something, and then next thing you know, you're in the middle of combat, and one player is like, "Wait, who are we fighting?" I have no mercy as far as that's concerned. <laughs> Saturday, you know, Wyatt missed a couple turns. Really? Yeah, because in, I missed in, one in, in GURPS. In, in, in D and D, your round is six seconds, so yeah. you have about six seconds where you make your attacks. You do your little eloquent speech, and you move your movement. All this stuff happens in six seconds. In the game system we're playing on Saturday, you have oh. one second. One second. Only one. So well, you can ready attack, but you can't attack. The first round looks like, I ready my weapon. And then you go around the table, and everyone says, I ready my weapon. I prepare a grenade. Something. I concentrate on spells. Would like to keep your level one character shooting as a souvenir? So it's yeah. like that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, that would be pretty cool. So the way you're going to do it is like whichever one you pick, uh, you get the choice of that, but everything else is pretty much decided by you. Worse. No, so that would be decided worse. by them as well. Even though it shouldn't even so be I, there in your sleep. I'll explain it in more detail. <laughs> okay. They, um, yeah, no. It's a closed <laughs> island. Oh, good. Mark so they only <laughs> let so many people in. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, sure. So the majority of the population are elves, high people. Okay. Followed by dwarves, followed by blobs, followed by blobs. The party they ran last week for the kitchen was 18. Oh, sorry, baby. Sorry, six. You know, that number of people is 18. The hobby shop. And then we're going to plan a party. Not this set. And we're going to be first to follow. Gerbs and Follows. And then I guess we'll talk about it. That gives you about two weeks. What's wrong with it? I'll probably enjoy something for that. Okay. You play yourself, you get the worst part. Here, it would be easier if some of us can come in early to help build the character so it's easier for the other people. Yeah. 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 Yeah.